Thank you very much for having us here. HP and Intel have been partners for a very long time. As a matter of fact, that partnership goes all the way back to the creation of the x86 server market. And both of our companies have led it since its inception. But it's not just about what we're able to do from a partnership perspective. What we have done consistently over that time as the leaders of this industry is focus on innovation. Not innovation for industry's sake or innovation's sake, but how we're able to use that innovation to drive real compelling business results. And Chris and I are gonna talk a little bit about that. So with that, I'm very proud to announce today the availability of the HP ProLiant DL580 server. And that 580 server is basically a Gen 8 product. So like everything else Gen 8 that you know and have heard about, it's got all the intelligence, it's got all the automation built in, and as a result, it can deliver industry-leading capabilities, such as a three-month ROI, and also the ability to nearly double the compute per watt of your data center. But it's not just about that innovation. What we wanted to do with the 580 is actually focus on some of our highest end, most demanding customers. And that's our scale up customers. This is a space that we've been the market share leaders in revenue for the last three quarters. And as a result, what we did here is we focused on their most demanding workloads. We focused on data analytics, we focused on business processing, and we also focused on decision support systems. So what Chris and I are gonna do is instead of talking to you about feeds and speeds and slots and watts and everything else that we would normally do in a technical presentation, we're gonna take a different approach. We're gonna talk about how a lot of the innovation that we put in place that's unique from HP and from Intel, and with a great partner like Velocidata, are now able to take all of that innovation and drive dramatically different compelling, and in some cases, industry-leading business results. So Chris, tell us a little about Velocidata and what y'all are doing there. Yeah, I'll give you a little background of the company first. Uh, we focus in terms of our customers who are driving data to try to gain huge benefits in terms of operational efficiencies within their corporations, as well as, as, well as trying to get to real-time analytics. And they look to Velocidata to basically offload bottleneck functions that inevitably happen with the volume increase in terms of data, velocity, and varieties. So we have three products, data transformation, data quality, data sort, all built on a HP uh, Intel platform, taking advantage of all the nuances in terms of what they release today. That appliance in terms of how it works, it takes, basically takes source data from anything you can think of, structured data, unstructured data, streaming data. It runs as a flow through our appliance. We do our magic in terms of standardizing data formats, encrypting data where it needs to be, sorting that data getting it basically prepared fully to the point when it gets to the target gotcha. so that something like HP HANA or Hadoop or a data warehouse can pick up the work immediately and then begin to do analytics or operations. Okay, can you tell us a little about some of the business results or examples of what we've been able to do together for customers? Yeah, and at one point I want to make quick, the thing that makes us unique and different in terms of how we do that, because other companies do do that, is what we do 10 times faster, 100 times faster, 1,000 times faster. 1,000 times faster. Not 1,000% a thousand times. And to give an example of the benefits in terms of how customers are using that capability, we have a healthcare insurance company, a very large one that's grown through acquisitions. Uh, they wanted to do in terms of synergies, basically have one function for customer service across the entire enterprise, all the brands. Right. That entails basically taking claims data from all these disparate systems, doing all that stuff in the middle that I just described and putting it in a data warehouse so that customer service people could respond to you know, requests around claims or questions on the claims regardless of brand. So the problem with that right. is that over the years, in terms of the complexity of the data, the transformations, just the volume scale, it was taking 16 hours to actually get wow. that middle part of the work done. And that was being done by a leading product within the industry. Mm -hmm. So we worked with the customer, offloaded those bottleneck issues onto our appliance, which is based on Intel and HP technology, and took 16 hours down to one minute. One minute. One minute. Impressive. And, and, and not only did we you know, fix a, a burning issue for the customer, help them to realize the benefits of you know, getting costs down as it relates to customer service, but it unshackled them, if you will, from the conventional wisdom of what's possible. And now they're thinking about all kinds of new insights in terms of what can be driven to the customer service people to even improve the experience more and actually cross-sell in the course of those events. So when you and I talk about fundamentally redefining both the economics and the expectations, especially in the era of data analytics and business processing, I mean, you and I talk to hundreds of customers a year and we hear consistently, I want to have more transactions in less time at less cost and it's got to be rock solid reliability because this really is the data that helps drive my business. We also hear a lot about performance, efficiency, and reliability. How about another example of where we're helping redefine 
the industry. I can't think of a better example than financial services. We have okay. a financial services customer that wanted to monetize their credit card data. So that entailed taking a bunch of data off the mainframe, credit card data off the mainframe, putting it into Hadoop. Once there, they wanted to do analytics against the data to try to deduce what was the genesis behind your transaction decisions. Are you getting married? Are you, you know, going on vacation, remodeling your kitchen? Right. And then sell that insight actually to their merchants uh, as a lead so that in fact those merchants could engage with those customers at the point that they're actually making those buying decisions to hopefully influence them. Gotcha. Now in theory, that sounds great, and you hear these examples, <laughs> but practically that was taking with conventional tools eight hours, 10 hours, 12 hours to actually perform. And it's not that interesting to know why I was buying something at noon when I'm sleeping at midnight. It's gotta be on time. It's gotta be, it's gotta be in the moment. Right. So again, we offloaded those bottleneck functions, we took basically that data or the transformations at wire speeds to allow them to actually realize this service to their merchants so they can engage customers in real time. And I think that's a wonderful example of the advantages these large companies have with all this massive amounts of data. If they can synthesize it down, create insights out of it, and engage in transient moments, that's how you win the game in the digital economy. Yeah, as a matter of fact, you and I have actually told customers that we want to help them take hindsight and turn that into insight or turn information into basically something that's actionable. So again, when you look at the capabilities, when you look at the performance and you look at some of the things that when we take Intel innovations and we add our industry standard innovations on top of that, and then we marry that to some really great partners, we really are helping to not only redefine the economics and expectations, but we're helping our customers deliver business results and deliver basically new fundamental things in terms of how they can help change their business and actually help change an entire industry. So Chris, thank you very much thank for the you. partnership, thank and you. we'll turn it back to you. Thank you very much. Thank you. It. Thank you. Good to see you, Jim. Yep. Thank you.